part two. Your feature film on a shoestring budget. So we're going to show you how to creatively do that. You're not going to have much cash. Disclaimer. We've made one movie, so we are by no means masters in the arts of filmmaking. But we are DIY masters. We've been doing do-it-yourself stuff for 20 years. Um, yeah, you want to make something on a really cheap budget, you're going to have to do everything yourself. eBay, eBay, eBay. Get on Gumtree, just, you just have to find shit for free. But also, you know, um, pick, your, pick your concepts. Like, we, we picked post-apocalyptic, which means that nothing has to look slick and shiny. But if something looks a bit shit, you cover it in mud and blood and it looks amazing. It's texture, you know? So we, we chose something that you can build quickly and easily. And if you're gonna, you know, just the, the, one of the reasons we picked like a zombie genre is like, if you're gonna make a zombie film, all you need is a camera and a bunch of friends who are prepared to get muddy and bloody. And you just make a feature. That's all you need. Just set it in a room, you know what I mean? Like you look at Tarantino's first film, Reservoir Dogs. His skill is, is obviously dialogue. So he crafted a feature film script set around a bunch of guys hanging out in suits with a couple of guns in one large room, you know? Um, so work to, your, work to your strengths. You know, my strength is shooting, editing, I can do my own special effects, great. We can, we, I can shoot an action film, but I can't make one. So this guy, he can make it. So us together, make That's an action guy. film. All right, you check this shit out. This guy. This is eBay special. All right, this I think is like an airsoft mask or something like that. It's for like paintball. Um, if you buy this in the shop here, it's like, you know, 200 bucks or 250 bucks. You get it from China. I think this was like $60 or $70 from China. This is another thing that a main man down in uh, Victoria made up for us. These for one of our characters to do like a close-up. So she had to look really badass, right? Guy written to me from Victoria saying I'm interested in props. He built this. Um, in his own garage. You shoot with what you can. Um, for Wormwood, we shot on a, um, a Canon 5D Mark II, a little bit of a Canon 5D Mark III towards the end, the Sony FS700, uh, the Red Epic, the Red Scarlet, and a couple of other cameras floating around that other people just came out and just got shots that we ended up using. And it does look a little bit inconsistent if you're really looking for it, but really, like most of the people in the world, like, didn't give a fuck, you know? Finish the film is the important thing. Use what you can and uh, finish the film and worry about, you know, making a beautiful film when you've got a beautiful budget. Wormwood, uh, we kicked that off in terms of finance by literally putting it on our own credit cards. We would try to do things like shoot around tax return time, so we'd get an influx of uh, finance money there and we just made it. We didn't have any idea how to finance a film at all until we got to the point where, um, yeah, we decided, you know what, we're going to do a bit of a, a crowdfunding campaign and, you know, we wanted to raise some money for the film but we also wanted to use it as a little bit of uh, extra marketing as well. We wanted to have a crack at the crowdfunding campaign because we were running out of money, quite frankly. Our, our credit cards were getting pretty fat at this point. Um, and so we thought, you know what, it's a two-pronged thing with crowdfunding. Um, we'll get a bit of money, hopefully, from some of the fans. Um, but we'll also be getting access to their mail out list. So Kickstarter, Indiegogo, if you create a campaign that people are interested in, they will put you on the front page and that goes out to millions of people. So it widens your social media grasp immediately. Um, and we were lucky enough to, to, to get our target in terms of cash and we got on the front page of Indiegogo, which was fantastic. So as soon as we did the crowdfunding campaign, we were able to fund the last third of the film and we started getting uh, fans in Poland. We got emails from Bulgaria. We got, um, suddenly we were all over the USA, you know what I mean? So off the back of uh, Studio Canal buying the rights to distribute it and some of the funding from Screen Australia, um, we were able to pay the cast and crew. I would say the key learning from this is that you just have to make your first feature film. Like that is the most important thing that you're ever going to do because that is a calling card and you know, it may, it's not going to get people like knocking down your door to like just throw money at you but it means that you've got something that when you go to meetings in you know America or if you want to go and talk to the funding bodies or if you want to make uh, co-productions to make larger films you've got that film under your belt and you can go hey this is what I did awesome let's talk. There are a million reasons not to make your film and you will hear every single one of them. You will hear a hundred thousand reasons on Thursday why you shouldn't film on Friday. There's always reasons why you shouldn't do it. 
money, um, uh, script's not ready, it's going to rain, whatever. Um, there's only one reason to make a film, and that's a reason in here. You always have to keep moving. Don't let anybody tell you no. Are you making your first film, or planning to? Let us know about all your experiences in the comments below, please. But make sure they're nice comments. Do you want to have a go with coming up, up close? Show your beautiful beard? Sure. Yeah.